Hi, I'm George Spaeth. Why is research related to vision and ophthalmology important? I'll tell you a true story. When I was learning to be an ophthalmologist at Wills, I was working up the patients that the senior doctors brought in. A little girl came in and she had dislocated lenses. They were making it so she couldn't see. But there was something a lot wrong with her. She had strange looking hair. She was severely retarded. She was very sick. So I thought, well, what does she have? But we didn't know. It didn't fit in any syndrome that I knew of. So I thought, well, why don't I get some urine and we'll see if she's secreting something or excreting something into her urine. And we did that. And Dr. Barber, who was working in our research department, studied that and found it was full of homocysteine. Well, that had never been reported before. So he thought, my gosh. He said, well, you know, homocysteine is in the pathway of an amino acid that uh, metabolized by vitamin B6, pyridoxine. Maybe if we give her vitamin B6, it'll push the enzyme that isn't working, probably, cystathionine synthetase, and maybe it'll work. So we did that. And she stopped excreting, secreting, excreting homocysteine in her urine. So, well, well, this is very exciting. So we said, well, let's study this. Let's do some research. So I went to some schools for retarded children and got samples of their urine. And we found that this was a very common condition. The second child I found was even sicker than the first one. He was very ill, very severely retarded. But he had a younger sister who was two years old. So I said to the mother, Mrs. Such and Such, let's get some urine from your second child. So we did. She had homocystinuria too, but she still hadn't developed any of the damaging effects of it. So we started on pyridoxine. Her Blood level came down, or she stopped excreting it in the urine. We thought that was great. So we studied people all around the country and continued to work on this a little bit. But now, here's the point. Quite a few years later, I was seeing patients in my office, and my receptionist said, Mrs. Such and Such is on the phone. She says she wants to speak to you. So I said, oh, yes, I'd like to talk to her. So. I took the call, and she said, you probably don't remember. I missed it. I said, oh, of course I do. You are such and such's mother. I remember, I remember very well, and uh, her older brother, and she said, well, he died shortly after. You know, he was so badly damaged. I said, but I wanted to call you because I thought you'd like to know that, she said the name of her daughter, was just admitted to medical school. And I thought, that's why you do research. And that is why you do research, because you make a difference in people's lives. That's the answer.